Hot friends, welcome back to Dirty Be Playing Virtues Last for War. I'm silly today. Well, I mean, I'm silly all days, but some days more than others. This is probably one of those. You're probably going to get more loopy Durgan today. I hope you enjoy it. Part of this, I think, is because I'm actually doing this first thing in the morning. I'm doing a bit of an experiment with that because oftentimes Let's Playing is one of the things I want to get out of the way as soon as possible. And I often just, you know, I had habits of languishing around and not doing that. And I'm trying to circumvent those by, like, I get up and then I just go through the motions of instead of wasting time, basically, in all sorts of ways, what I do instead, hopefully now, I'm gonna try to start this for reals tomorrow, we'll see, is just, like, go through the motions of immediately getting recording started. Uh, at least, like, the preliminary things I need to do to start recording. And then I get up, I get my breakfast and stuff, and I come back in here, and I record things. I think that'll help me a lot with the recording, that I'm hoping that literally all I need is a lot of schedule and habit changes that I put in place over time in order to be much more consistent about not only this content, but being able to add more content onto it. Because I'm learning from the ground up how to work at 28 years old. But I'm doing it. If it was going to happen with anything, it's gonna, it was going to happen with this YouTube channel, at least preliminarily. So anywho, friends, I hope y'all are doing cool with whatever goals you have in your life, because I am. Because it really is just continuing to do more with this channel. That is what I'm doing. And so it feels great. Anyway, on to the intrigue and betrayal and such. I do wonder what things are going to happen in the lead up to this particular set of first AB game rounds. I'm really excited to see what happens here and if we're going to get some more hints and reveals and things of that nature. And probably all three routes end up here. That map, it's just like the one we found on the crew quarters. <laughs> crew quarters? Oh, we found a map like that too. There was one in the lounge. <laughs> There's a lounge? Anyway, ours was in the infirmary. Hmm. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. No, there's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. See, that's the thing, is Fi is... She, she changes from being very chill about everything to being extremely adamant about forcing everyone down specific paths. And that's because she is orchestrating the game kind of like Santa did. I guarantee you it's something like that. I'm starting to realize more and more that that's an obvious clue to that. And again, you know, I, I keep reiterating this stuff and I, I, I realize that and I apologize for that if you find it annoying, but, or whatever, but like, I've noticed, again, there's so much, it's like, I keep, I keep getting more evidence because I keep thinking about it, of like, her being a golem, or, but yeah, either way, like, her behavior here is rather uncharacteristic for her, because the rest of the time she's rather chill about everything. And then she gets very, 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 uh, anal about things and angry about stuff, and you're like, why? What? Um, and I think it's because, again, she's trying to avoid, I think, an outcome that she's aware of, regardless of why. Like, you know, especially in regards to a specific end result of this that she seems to be aware can happen involving Sigma betraying her and that's about all I know about that. The first ending I reached was obviously hinting at that and she literally said you know something along the lines of you have to know what's going on but but he didn't so I'm really wondering. She, had no, she knows a lot. I think she knows everything. That phrase that was in the what I call the foreshadowing room, that's why I named that episode that. The uh, security room. The phrase, she knows everything. I more and more feel like that refers to Fi. Because she knows a lot, that's for sure. She knows more than Sigma, and Sigma knows quite a bit. I think she even knows why Sigma knows what he knows, because, well, she pretty much explicitly said that at the end of the first ending, right? The first ending I got to. I don't know. I don't know if the endings are even ordered in, in any way, other than, like, one is supposed to be the one you get last. Uh, I don't think so, because again, there's so many ways you could go to start with here. Moving onward.
This is just like the other floor. These doors have colors on them too. The one on the left is green. The one in the middle is blue. And the one on the right is red. Are these chromatic doors? Look, there's a box here. It looks like the ones we saw earlier. <laughs> Lock, huh? Yeah, it won't budge. He's like the Seven of this game. You know how Seven was always trying to open all the doors? I like how it's Sigma here. Actually, wait, I just realized Sigma's pretty tall and muscly, isn't he? He's definitely not Seven levels of big boy, but like, he's certainly up there. I guess him and Dio would have to arm wrestle for me or something for me to see that or understand that or fight against each other in some way. And I have this feeling that that's very possible. We'll see. Because again, Dio's obviously got loose cannon he tended. I don't know about loose cannon he tendencies, but he's he's obviously been prone to violence in the past. So, the, yeah. And I think he still is in the possible list of three people still because of that fucking camera angle that could have killed Luna. And since that episode, I've been thinking, and I have a feeling it's not Clover for two reasons. One, Uchikoshi would probably expect people who have played the first game to suspect Clover because, yeah. And also even people who witnessed her behavior in this game, honestly. What if she just strangled her or something? Or what if maybe she thought she killed Luna, but actually Dio ended up doing it? Or Kay. But I'm a little less inclined. Like, I'm not suspicious of Kay. I think Kay is actually really a good guy here. No, but no, I don't know about a good guy, man. I don't know. I still think Kay is Snake. Regardless of what his original intentions were, he doesn't fucking remember them. I think that, you know, he could have been the orchestrator of this game and purposely erased his memories so that... I don't know, man. Like, that seems ridiculous, but like... I don't know, man. If it's not Snake, I'll be surprised. I think that, like, going into a sequel of a game like this, right... If someone's face is covered, you'd have to assume it's a character you know, right? So if it's not a character from 999, I don't understand why the hell Uchikoshi went through all that. I might when we get to that point, but I still feel like it's Snake, or if not, it's someone else. It might be Ace or something, but I, s I feel like his voice is similar to Snake's, and also his mannerisms. Anyway, yeah, we won't budge. Yeah, just like the other doors. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Doesn't stop Sigma from Sigma, trying, though. You know You've been staring at your bracelet. Oh. No, I'm fine. But it looks like my guess was right. The numbers have changed. <laughs> numbers? Oh, yeah, the time left. Looks like two hours. Six minutes. Oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake. You telling me we're gonna have to just sit around here for another two hours? Well, looks like we don't have a choice then. Gotta head back. Sigma, where's that note you found? Right. Huh? Did it say something like supplementary rules? Because if it did, we have one too. We found ours in the crew quarters. Yeah, we got one of those. Found it in a safe in the lounge. Okay, everyone found it this time. That's interesting. Because as far as I remember, in the other two paths, not everyone found this, right? That seems significant. Although anything that's different is going to seem significant to us. And I th here are a few more rules for you. I don't know, though. Once you've opened a door, you can hop through it as much as you'd like. The chromatic doors are like that, too. I'm going to read it through just because I like reading text, but y'all can skip it if you want. Once you open them, even I care it keep you from going in and out of them. Basically, I like practicing reading aloud and also voice acting-ish. Although I'm not actually trying to do the whole zero thing this time, but I'm practicing my ability to read text out loud coherently, because I really love doing that. Any color of bracelet can go through them, and as many people as you like. But, 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 you have to escape before you can take advantage of this free reign rule. Once you've activated a chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle beyond, it won't let you go back until you've solved the puzzle. If that's true, then we can all go back the way we came and get into the warehouse. I don't think Zero's saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. Otherwise, what's the point of that key card? And again, this could just be Fi, you know, extrapolating as someone who doesn't know about the rules. Or it could be her subtly having them all follow the game through for some reason. You mean this? The Ambidex room key? We found some too. 
In fact, I think it's very, very valuable as a first time player of this game to not skip anything. The more that I'm playing these games, the more I realize that, really. Or at least anything past the first choice. Because when you make a different choice, you know, of course, if you're going through the same choice you made before to get to a different choice later, then yeah, go ahead and skip everything. But I'm saying, well, I mean, you shouldn't skip anything that's new anyway. That's the rule. But a lot of these things are repeated. But what I'm saying is not skipping the repeated things is good for a couple reasons. First of all, with these games, you don't know if there's going to be some different details. Oftentimes there is. Like, for example, people might skip this and not really realize that everyone found the supplementary rules this time. I'm pretty sure that that has not been the case in the other two routes. In fact, I just realized, isn't both of those times when Dio decided to start the round right away by going in to start with? Because he didn't find one? That makes six, then. One for each AB room. Let's head back to the warehouse. Uh, so when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? Unfortunately, yes. That is uh, how these games work, generally. Even if we don't realize it, that's... Uh, even if we're trying to rebel, that's what you end up doing. It's very oof. I think the sharing the same destiny thing for pairs is a symbolic thing, meaning that, like, essentially, Zero knows the future, whoever Zero is this time. I kinda hope it's not Akane. I don't even kinda, I don't. I hope it's not Akane, because, like, wasn't her whole thing resolved? I guess not, though, because if that's true, then Alice should actually be Akane, but... Nothing I've seen from Alice makes any sense that it's Akane for now, because like, if she was putting on a personality to remain hidden for some reason, if she was actually June in spirit, basically, but Alice in body, then I don't think she, ke she could keep up the facade as perfectly as that. So I think it's literally just Alice and something else happened to Akane. But see, if that's the case, then what if Akane is still trying to resurrect herself by doing this game? Which is... Ugh. I do wonder what this is, though, because this is obviously a whole different set of circumstances for these people, regardless of what it means or what it is. Oh, yeah, but yeah, what I was saying before was, like, I feel like it's very, very valuable to go through and make sure that even if it's, like, a repeated scenario, like, you've known you'd seen this before, if it's a new choice, don't skip shit. Because A, you could skip actual details that are new, like I said. But B, also seeing the same thing again, but having extra context for it because of other things that happened in other routes is really invaluable and interesting. And like, hmm, you, you, like everything takes on new meaning as you go through the game. Stupid angry mutt watching the doors <laughs> Also, this fucking dialogue is gold. Why would you skip this? <laughs> <laughs> Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied <laughs> turd. Well, what's it going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? Alright, fine. I'm going. I definitely heard that I'd find him going before, so I don't know. I swear to god not everyone found the supplementary rules, but I also feel like there's maybe two sets of supplementary rules, but no, the more I think about that, I'm not sure if I'm just misremembering that, because this game is confusing. It's possible, especially because I'm me. I mean, hell, it's it's possible just based on the same reason that I keep abandoning trains of thought for other trains of thought and having to finish them later or even forgetting to finish them all together, like I just did again. Uh, but if y'all are here and have been here with me for a while, I know that there's at least like five of you that seem to watch this every time. And then thank you so much, by the way, regardless of how much you watch it. This is the infirmary, then. But yeah, if you've been here for a while, you would know, I, um, especially if you watch the whole episodes, obviously, you would know that uh, that I tend to do that, and if you're still here, then that means it doesn't bother you too, too much, I suppose, or else you'd quit because of it, right? So I, I, I hope it doesn't bother you very much. Do let me know what bothers you, though, because if I can fix it and I feel like it's a good idea for me to do so, then I will. If not, I will explain why I'm not, and, well, you'll have to either live with that or not watch, I suppose. But either way, we were able to walk right in, just like the note said. That means you can come visit the lounge too. You like it, Grandpa. There's lots of alcohol. They've even got some of your favorite. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, well, that sounds. <laughs> Maybe I'll go have a drink later. What the hell, man? Are you so damn calm? 
You should be asking Fi that, although I'll grant that she wasn't calm a little bit ago. Wait, Grandpa? Yeah, see, there's this whole thing about what the hell is their relationship, man? Temiochi said something about Zero roping him into this and having him bring Quark for some reason. Did Temiochi and Quark know each other? Were they actually related? And see, that's the other thing is that what if Temiochi's actually kind of like a Santa y character? But, like, he doesn't really... He's hes trying not to go along with Zero. I was about to ask when something else caught my attention. Someone behind the divider was talking to someone else. I snuck a look around. Do you think there's a connection? I can't be sure yet. But there's no way this is all just coincidence. Yeah. There's even a Zero. Whatever it is that's going on, we need to get in touch with headquarters and fast. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Hold on a second. We're finally getting to see about, like, what the hell their job is about. I think there's a- like, I'm, I'm just reading this again because I didn't fully comprehend it all. Welcome to ADHD. It's fun. Um, can't be sure of it yet. There's no way it's all just a coincidence. There's even a zero. Whatever it is- yeah, see? They both are aware of the first one, because Clover was in it. First and second. Because Clover was in them. But... See? Is Alice really June, or did Alice just wake up because of whatever June did? I feel like it might be something like that. Or is she even in that coffin? Although she wasn't, was she? Was she ever in that coffin? And if not, then what the hell does that mean? Was she in that coffin for a while as some part of, like, some sort of espionage mission from this organization? What if Seven worked with her in some way? Maybe she was his contact, I just realized. What if she was? Then that would explain why he lied for her to Junpei at the end of the first game about whether... She was in the coffin or not. That was the lie, right? Mmm. We're finally getting to see more of what the hell these two's deal is, because we have not seen that. So that's what... That's the new thing we're mostly getting in this middle path, huh? I think what happened is that Alice had Clover join her in her work. Because I think she was there to begin with on espionage. I think that must have happened after the first game. And that originally, Alice was part of this organization. And the whole Egyptian... Oh, what if... Yeah, that actually makes sense. What if the entire coffin thing was just a setup from this organization and she was in there on Ice Nine or whatever, but she had some way to wake up, right? She isn't that old. She is not ancient. But what if she, again, was put in cryo and there was this whole story fabricated that she's an ancient Egyptian queen and all that, but it's a story, right? The actual purpose was to probably investigate whatever uh, Ace's company was doing, I think. Actually, wait... That flower, did she leave that there? The thing that allowed him to make the sedative? What happened to him after 999? Because the last we saw of him, he was captured by them and stuffed in their trunk. I don't know what the hell they ended up doing with him and if he's in prison now or if he managed to escape or like what. But yeah, this is, hmm, this is all sorts of hmm. And I'm glad we're finally getting any kind of insight into this. And I wonder what I might be able to glean from the rest of this conversation, if there is much more of it. They probably figured out we're gone by now. Yeah. Do you think they'll find us? Let's hope so. Huh. Is there going to be people that barge in here or not? Hmm. How are these two connected? Yeah, see, that's... I think what happened is Alice has always worked for that organization, and then after 999, she got Clover to work with her. I still don't know what the hell happened to Snake and all that, though. And again, I still think he's K. Oh, you're finally done. You were taking so long. I hopped off for a little nap. Ah, for this might be word for word, but I'm still going to, you know, parse every bit of information here with what I know from other roots. Yawning. Really? Because it's very... There's been a lot of interesting things I've been cleaning from that, I've realized now. You're just a computer program. You don't get tired. Hey, the, uh... <laughs> my temper's got a hair trigger, and you're awfully close to me. So I'd watch my mouth if I were you. I really love her performance as Zero so much. She's great. And again, the different inflections, the different accents, it's all wonderful. Especially when, she, when Zero gets very animated and crazy. 
She does that so well. So talented. Otherwise... Well, you really need me to spell it out. See again, like, all the different factors. Otherwise... Well, you really need me to spell it out. Like, there's such... There's so much, like, variety. Forget it. <laughs> That's a good boy. Alrighty. Well, let's get back to what we were talking about earlier. Namely, how do you get more BP? We go into the AP rooms, right? Look. We've got some keys for them right here. Kay and Quark have two each, so we've got six altogether. But who goes into what room? <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Anybody can go into any room. But there are only six rooms. Didn't I tell you? The two members of a pair share the same destiny. You mean both members of a pair need to go into the same room? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do we do after we go into the room? Play a game. Just like it says on the door. If you play the accident game! <laughs> <laughs> That's the other reason I will never skip through this. Oh, okay, I will whenever I'm going through, and that's actually going to be starting next playthrough. Going through choices you've made in order to get the one you have. I mean, it will it will matter for later choices, but not these first set of choices here, after this point. Wait, what's Ambidag supposed to mean anyway? Actually, part of me feels like that scene with Clover and Alice might have been something I've actually seen before that I forgot that I've seen before. I feel like that might be the case, but I feel like- I felt like it was new, but now I'm like, have I seen it before? I may have. It might have been in another route I did. Let me know, friends. I don't remember. I would guess it's short for ambidextrous. Most use the word to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands, instead of favoring the left or right. But it can also be taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two-faced. It's a game of betrayal, then. Well, yes, I guess you could look that way. Then what's the nonary game? <laughs> is it? Or is it that you're just a few carats short of a bushel? Honestly, in this case, I'd say that it is the latter. He's known to be at least rather not prone to thinking much of before he acts or opens his mouth, regardless of how smart he actually is. Uh, what do you think, Theo? Uh, American little bastard. <laughs> well, that's just how I <laughs> Used to it. Ah, also the fact that she uses a southern accent here randomly. Also, the Amadex game! None of that will ever stop being funny to me. <laughs> I'll give you more specifics. That's fucking accent, I could not. I fucking cannot. Kay, Quark, and myself each gave one card to Luna, Alice, and Tamiyoji. Then we headed into the AB rooms. There wasn't really any discussion of who'd be going into which door, and Fi and I found ourselves heading into the leftmost room. <laughs> Looks like everybody else has gone in already. Think we should head in too? Why are you asking me? Just hurry up and get in there. Okay, okay. See you again. Uh, she goes from nonchalance to get the f fuck do the thing, you know, like that seems to me to indicate that she's trying to push the game forward. An Ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. What? This game's got a time limit too? And, okay, yeah, and then we find her in the middle route too. Okay, because, yeah, this is... I do believe the one Luna woke up in, both here and in that other route we just did. One of the three branches does not include us finding her, or I think anyone finding her, which I find interesting. At least finding her that says anything about it. What? What the hell? Who's this? Fuck if I know. Look, it doesn't matter who she is. Just get everybody over here. Yeah, right. Hey, guys, get over here. We found someone. There's a, a lady over here. She's unconscious. No, she's actually dead. 
unfortunately. But I didn't wait for a response, just turned around and followed Fi into the room. We knelt down next to the woman and turned her over as gently as we, should, as we could manage. All that greeted us was... The fact that she's actually dead instead of unconscious. Her face looks really odd from that angle because of the way that the models are kind of weird in this game. Also, like, her arm looked really odd to me there. Like, it was clipping through the sleeve until I realized that her sleeve was tattered there. I think that's also a clue to her murder, I just realized. Like, you can tell it's really tattered on the other side, but, like, on that side, it's kind of, like, torn in a way where it, it seemed like his, her arm was clipping through for a moment, but it was just, like, that's kind of how it looked like because of how, like, the way that it's torn sort of frames her arm there. It's interesting. She's covered in blood. I leaned down to listen at her mouth. Nothing. No breath. The shaking hands I felt against her neck for a pulse. No movement. Just cold skin. What the hell are you yelling at? What's going on here? Is she... Quark, don't look. Somebody get Quark out of here. Uh, okay. Come on, Quark. You know, her panic could be from two sources. One, oh, oh, okay, uh, you know, uh, you don't, you definitely don't want a Quark to see a dead body. Or, oh god, they found the woman I killed. But did she? And there's a lot of evidence that points to her, but I wouldn't put it past Uchikoshi to pull something out of his ass and it wasn't Luna, but we'll see. Then, she's... Yeah. She's not breathing and I can't find a pulse. Her body's already cold, so I'm guessing she was... I'm guessing she was murdered a while ago. Murdered? Does this look like an accident or a suicide to you? Hmm. Looks like she was stabbed. Don't see a weapon around here, though. That means either the killer took it with them, or it was part of them. Part of them? Well, if someone was strong enough and they had metal hands, then they might be able to stab someone in the heart. What are you suggesting? It's just a joke. Don't take it so seriously. Whatever. If we examine the wound, we'll probably get a better idea of what the weapon was. Metal hands, says the golem. She would know a thing or two about having metal hands, even though they are under that fake skin she's got, if she is the golem that I think she is. Let's get her to the infirmary. She might be old, but she's still a woman. If we're going to do an autopsy, she should have some privacy. I think everyone should have privacy. That double standard still pisses me off, and it seems to be extremely, extremely enforced in Japanese society. Come on, boys, let's go. D.O.K. and I gingerly lifted the woman up and carried her to the infirmary. Perhaps he just didn't consider himself one of the boys, or maybe it was something else. Yeah, I think it's something else, but what, though? But whatever the reason, Tenmyoji only stared. See, I was thinking this woman was Tenmyoji's wife, but... God, this is scary, but what if it's June? And what if somehow June and Santa, after 999, somehow they rapidly aged or something? Like something happened, some sort of timey-wimey shit happened, and they like rapidly aged or like, uh, I don't know. And that means Tenmyoji's literally Santa. His reaction here also makes sense if that's June. Akane, his sister. And granted, of course they both have white hair, they're old. But they also, he had white hair in the original game. Now she didn't, but. So it's, it's, hmm, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. His whole body was rigid, like a rope pulled almost to its breaking point, but it was his eyes that caught my attention. He wasn't staring at us, not quite. It was more like he was staring towards us. A smoldering spark of something burning silently behind his gaze. It wasn't until we were almost to the infirmary that I realized Tamiyoji hadn't spoken a single word since the moment we found the body. I turned back both ways. Also, if this man is literally Santa, that would also make sense as to why he also wants Clover to trust him. Because Clover was also one of the kids that was put through the first known game. He was following us at a distance, his breathing heavy and labored and his movements slow and shuffling. As if his body was suddenly made of lead. It's got me by the go balls. This game's had me by the balls, but it certainly really got me there. This time, that's for sure.
Back to the infirmary after he investigated it. The old woman's body was surprisingly light. Carrying her felt almost like carrying an old dry piece of wood. We set her down carefully in the infirmary bed as if we were afraid she might break. She looks so peaceful. Almost like she's just gonna wake up any minute now. Maybe she didn't suffer much when she died. Let's hope so. Anyway, I feel a little bad about doing this, but I think we need to examine her. And also, it would explain why he might know about what's going on here if he's Santa. Because what if this really was set up by June again? You mean like an autopsy or something? I'm just going to have a look at the wound. If we had a coroner, then it would be a different story, but... Um... What? I have a medical license. You're a nurse? No. You're a doctor? Well, I'm not exactly a coroner. Interesting. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover, can you? Sorry. You don't need to apologize. Are you really going to perform an autopsy? Oh, um, I won't really be doing it. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. So you think you could use it to perform some kind of autopsy? Yes, I think I should be able to manage that. And if she is the one who killed this woman, the fact that she could just kind of casually... I mean, first of all, it's a really good cover for being... I mean, you know, like, yeah, it, it is... It's a really good cover for being the murderer of someone to then be very adamant and, like, casual about then helping people figure out how she was murdered, more or less, right? But also, like, the, the ability for her to put on a mask, it seems, is a good thing. Although, granted, what if she's not really putting on a mask and this is really her, but she has a, a hatred of the woman or, or something, or still some reason to kill her? Or maybe she, again, did not do it. I don't know. The display filled up with text, most of it rather technical. Sex, female, it's been a day, okay, yeah, like, y'all can read all this. I'm, I'm not too fond of reading that kind of stuff, but I've done it before. But I will read the conclusion. Based on the characteristics described above, there is a 95% chance the wound was caused by a sharp, single-bladed instrument. By the way, the ability for, like, this kind of technology to be a thing. It does sound rather feasible, actually, at least in future, if there's not something like this already, kind of, which I wouldn't put past, especially the medical field, you know, in real life. Yeah, I don't really get it. What's it mean by instrument? Was she stabbed with a clarinet or something? God damn it. I, I wonder, is that supposed to be a pun? Or did he is he really just that dense? I don't know half the time. But part of me feels like even if it's supposed to be Sigma's just that dense, I almost feel like the pun was intentional on behalf of the writer, or at least like the translator into English. It means a tool of some sort. A knife, probably. And also, like, for such a tense moment to be like interrupted by that. I, I, I'm a little bit peeved at Uchikushi doing that. But at the same time, there's so much oof in these games that, in the end, I think that the time that tensions are lightened is really nice, especially because the game gets extremely, grotesquely dark at other points. Yes. Oh, huh. I suppose that clears me of suspicion. Sorry, but no. Why? Please, don't tell me you think my hand can somehow turn into a knife. I told you that was a joke. Then why am I still a suspect? We found the old lady in one of the AB rooms, specifically the one farthest to the left. But we later figured out that it was moved. Whether by Luna, we don't know yet. Before we went in there, only two other people had been in that room. You and Clover. Only one of you was conscious. Fi, please, stop joking around. I assure you, there was no one else in that room besides Clover when I woke up. She must have been put there later. But the door was locked, right? I don't think anyone could have gotten in without the key. Perhaps, but there was a hatch on the ceiling, remember? Yes, there was, but Zero said he locked all the hatches. Well, if he was telling the truth, nobody could have gotten in there after you two left. Which means... Fucking bastard! Why'd you kill her, Kay? 
Uh, you're real quick to jump the gun, I think, because you would kill someone, at least. Rather, regardless of if you did or not, even later. You might have, but you might not have. I think you would, though. I knew it. You're him, aren't you? You're the real zero. Like, if it came down to killing someone or being killed or killing someone or escaping, killing someone and escaping, maybe, I think Dio would do it without, like, much hesitation. But I guess we'll see, huh? Wait a minute, please. Just calm down. You aren't making sense. Let's suppose I am Zero. Why would I do something that would obviously cast suspicion on me? Uh, well, because... Because you figured we'd think that. And you'd throw us off the trail by doing the exact opposite. That's not a logical argument. Still, you do have at least half a point. Your argument doesn't confirm my guilt, but it does show us where we should be looking. The real Zero. The person who brought us here is likely the person who murdered that woman. Doesn't that seem like the most reasonable answer? I guess... Yeah, that makes sense. If Zero was the murderer, then they could open anything they wanted to. I mean, didn't Zero say something about that? I live in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this cruel warren are under my control. Exactly. Also, consider this. If the murderer isn't Zero, why would the AI Zero stay silent? He told us that his job was to make sure the game ran smoothly, but now the unexpected has happened, and he says nothing. Why would he do that? If he can see everything we do, then he must know who killed the old woman. So why has he kept his silence? The answer is simple. The murderer is Zero. Or rather, Zero Senior, I suppose you could say. He likely ordered Zero Junior, the AI, to keep his identity hidden. If Zero Junior told us about the murder, then Zero Senior's identity would be compromised. There was something else to consider as well. Perhaps this murder was not unexpected. Zero Senior murdered her, just as planned. Death is only another part of the game. <laughs> Killing someone is just part of a game to him? I mean, yes, I, duh. I mean, considering the fact, again, Sigma, I've made this point before, I remember, but like, he's very cool with having your bracelets kill you. Or at least making you think that's the case, but I, I don't know, man. They, they obviously injected those two. The bracelets, but what if there's actually not deadly shit in there? Because I think, I don't remember why, but I think it was concluded that those two did not die to that. So what if there's a whole elaborate ruse, including injection, but what if there's nothing in there? Well, there's no way to know for sure, but I would assume so. Ten minutes remain. Until Ambidex Game Polling closes, all players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Whoa, what was that? I don't know. Well, one thing's for sure. If we don't go vote, something bad's going to happen. You see? Just as I said. So everyone found the rules this time. I swear to God that at least one person didn't find them before. I don't know about both of the other paths, but certainly one of them. As far as the other first choice. Zero Junior ensures the game continues, even though someone has died. All of this is part of Zero Senior's plan. Let's get back to the warehouse. If we all head to the AB rooms, maybe we'll see Zero Junior. After all... He told us he'd give us specifics once we'd gone in. We're really going in there? I kind of don't want to. I mean, there was a dead lady in there just a few minutes ago. What? Are you worried there's a ghost or something? No, no, of course not. It's just... Doesn't it bother you? See, if it didn't, again, it's another reason that she's a golem to me. Nope. I don't believe in ghosts. I feel bad that she died, of course, but... There's not really anything I can do about that, is there? Damn. You're pretty cold, you know that? Might be because she's a robot. 
super bold, but whatever. <laughs> she is bold too, that is true. And that's hot. Bold woman is yes. Just don't let emotions get in the way. It's pretty much the definition of cold. Anyway, let's go. Looks like the others have already gone in. Fine. What is it? Find a ghost or something? No. <laughs> the There's something there. The screen? Yeah. I won't read that. No reason to read. It's the same exact blurb and there's no way it would change, right? There goes the door. Yep. Hooray! Everybody's finally here! I just <laughs> Again, just fucking 12 of 10 performance. God. So have we! We've got some questions for you, motherfucker. Who is that old what? Everyone. Everyone's doing it. And he's not gonna answer for some reason. Though I wonder what that reason is. Hmm. I imagine he had to know what would have happened if it wasn't part of his plan, you know what I mean? So I think it was in some way, but hmm. Will all of you please stop bombarding me with questions? All? The other people in the other rooms are asking me stuff just like you are saying. It seems like he can talk to them all as different people iterations of himself because of how specific to Sigma this dialogue is. Interesting. I guess you probably can't hear them since these rooms are completely soundproof, but... And see, that's the other thing, is that, yeah, they're completely soundproof, so... What if Luna knew that? Because what if, like, the first game, there were experiments that took place here before, and she was part of them. And I think that might also explain why she's not... She's tight-lipped about what her medical license entails. What if she got a license to work here or something somehow for some reason? Or was forced to? I have this feeling the birdcage necklace is symbolic of herself or something. But regardless of all that, like, again, what if she knew that these rooms were soundproof and she woke up in one and with someone she wanted to kill for whatever reason, right? Or what if she was asked to kill the by the woman? Which would be really woof. But the main reason I think that's even a possibility is she was so peaceful when she died. What if the death is what she wanted and Luna's so nice that she was willing to do that for her? That seems really out of the way, but I'm just kind of putting all the theories that make any sense to me at all out there. B.O. is especially loud! Of course he is, it's funny. But, of, but like, basically, what if the reason Luna just did that is because she knew? That the rooms were soundproof. Or what if the woman knew and she told her that they were that it was soundproof or something, and maybe told her about moving to room two so that she wouldn't be implicated for it, so that she could die because she wanted to or something. I don't know. For real, Bo, I need you to shut up. There isn't much time. I have to hurry and explain all this stuff or the game will end before I'm done. Or womano, 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 or I've made this joke before. Well, there are two people in each pair, aren't there? So it'll be more of a two-on-one battle, I guess. <laughs> now, I imagine you're all wondering who your opponent is going to be. This is actually really easy. You'll be competing against whoever you paired up with to go through the chromatic doors. For example, Siggy and Fido paired up with Ken Yoldi.
choose ally, then they're your ally. What? <laughs> Don't get it? This is my other favorite accent she does, other than the southern one. It's very valley girly, I think, on purpose. Well, don't worry. Just listen while Zero the Third explains it all. First, I want everybody to focus on the screen on the device in the back of the room. You should see A, ally, and B, betray on it. Do you? All you guys have to do is pick! Just pick one of those easy options! Easy my ass, though. Your BP will go up or down. And some of you are a little slow. So, I made this empty chart. The plus and minus are for your <laughs> point of view. The southern accent. I love it. So, let's say you choose ally. And so does your opponent. You get two EP, and so will they. And you'll all get a nice warm, fuzzy feeling inside. The best pals outcome. Just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? Next is what you get if you choose the ally. But your opponent chooses to betray. If that happens, you lose two BP and they get three. We call that the stupid jerk face outcome. Somebody did that to me. Let's sit on the stool with some tires. The third choice is the opposite of that. It's when you choose betray, but you're nice, innocent opponent. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna start skipping a lot of this because this is definitely all the same. I don't know why I was like going through all the video dialogue other than I like it. No, the novelties worn off again, and so now I'm like, okay. Actually, there's a little bit more, but it'll just have to wait, I guess. After all, it's almost time! Hi! Hey. Wait! No! I won't wait and I can't wait. Didn't you hear me? It is time! One minute remains until Abadex game polling closes. You see, it's time for me to be hopping on out of here. See you later! Have a nice trauma! Have a nice trauma. Yeah, it's like he's talking to the people who are playing the game too, and not just the people having. Oh man, that's that's trippy. Because playing the game can both mean you know me and other people who have played this video game, but also the people who are being subjected to the Ambidex game and the Notary game Ambidex edition inside the video game. We don't have time to talk about this. Rock paper scissors. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors? Is that how she did this before? No, I don't think so. We have to decide who's gonna press the button. <laughs> you think that's a good way to decide? Just shut up and do it. One, two, three. Scissors. <laughs> Ra, okay. I swear to God, this is not how this happened before. Can you actually... Does she always choose scissors? Because is there a weird, like, double choice here? Where, like... You can get locked into one route if you fail the rock, paper, scissors. Or do you always win it? I don't know, man. That's interesting. I'm going to do this middle route next just because I'm so curious about that. Well, I guess I'll see which one I really want to do for whatever reason when I'm done with the whole playthrough. But yeah. <laughs> Looks like I won. Damn it. So what are you going to pick? I guess ally. We're playing against Ten Miyoji. Do you have any reason to think he won't betray you? I guess not. Yeah. If he does, what does that make our BP? We'll be down to uh, one point each. That's not hopeless. I mean, sure, we'll be a little further away from the goal, but... Ah, uh, man, that's the thing. The thing that Zero's omitting is fucking death, and she's about to tell him that again. And when will we do that? Okay, well, I don't actually know. It's pretty obvious we'll be playing this game more than once. After all, we can't get to my 9 BP if we don't. Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Well, you won. The decision's yours. Now decide, ally or betray. Wait, is she Three, not going to tell him here? Two, She's not going to tell him about the death here. Does she know this time? 
or not. In the last moment before the counter reached zero, I made my choice. I'm gonna start with that one. Load has been recorded. Please wait. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. This is going really interestingly. There's a few different details here that I'm like, hmming about. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Is Zero still going to call Fido out for knowing things she doesn't? And if not, what does that mean? As Fi and I stepped out of the AB room, I could see the others running toward the projection, shoving and pushing the, to get closer. Tamioji was left behind, his footsteps a slow, heavy plod. What had happened to make him like that? So you chose Ally, huh? You don't get to complain. I won't remember. Not complaining. I just think you're being a little soft-hearted. Aw, oh, you worry too much. And also, like, doing that to Tamioji... If she- if he picked Ally, but I kinda doubt he did, man. Especially in his state, but at the same time, like... Doing that to Temioji after how he's acting. You know? I'm sure Temioji chose Ally too. Yeah... We'll see. See, that's what I'm talking about. You don't have any facts, just misguided optimism. In my opinion, misguided optimism is actually better than an absence of optimism. Bogging ourselves down by not reasoning with ourselves in a positive manner. It's just bad. So like, yeah, like, he, hmm, misguided though. Like, I can sort of see what she's talking about. I'm not sure if I agree with it though, you know? Yo, what's up? <laughs> I love this line too. There's so many iconic lines. <laughs> uh, I, I love that so much. Siggy! Final! <laughs> I can't okay. fucking. What are you kids doing over there? This woman deserves a medal, damn it. We're about to announce the results. Let's go. We should have a look at those results. Fine. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally, let's get ready to round! <laughs> Ambidex game! Round one! The results! The results! I love it. If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Fucking thought so, unfortunately. But I like to be the good person first. I'm a little over all of the nerves about it, especially because I know that them picking ally is also possible. But what's also spooky is that, honestly, I've started to realize that their intentions aren't necessarily good or selfless, even if they pick ally. Because, well, Luna picked ally with us, but... There's a lot of reason for us to believe she's a murderer, so yeah. Do we actually get to see if the bracelet thing happens here? Here are the results from your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Sigma. Phi. Sorry. Why? Tell me why. I trusted you. Look, I said I was sorry. See? I told you. A soft heart is the easiest to break. Do you understand what kind of game this is now? Just tell me one thing, Tamiyoji. Why'd you do it? Are you serious? Someone's dead. And not just dead. Murdered. I got no reason to think that murderer wasn't one of you. Only an idiot trusts someone he's never met when there's a killer on the Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's an oof. But honestly, if being a good person makes me an idiot, fucking fine. I'm used to people thinking I'm stupid anyway. It can actually be an advantage at some points. So, yeah. <laughs> you think I had a choice? Right. I think that's enough for me. Yeah, I think you did have a choice. You know why? Because I, I did it. Fuck you but I still don't really blame him in his state. Because I think that regardless of the details, that lady was important to him in some way. 
I'm old and I'm tired and so tired. Tamiyuji shuffled off the same way I'd seen earlier, sitting heavy on his shoulders. It was only then that I noticed an angry voice in the mind. Hey, what the hell is this? At least we don't have to deal with this wrath this time. <laughs> uh. Hey, look, lady, I, I was gonna choose Al, I swear to God. But just as I'm about to do it, this little bastard runs in and hits the betray button. What? Oh, come on. Really gonna just try and play it dumb, huh? See, the thing is, I don't know who to believe here, but I'm more inclined to think that Dio's bullshitting. However, is he, though? And if he's not lying, what does that mean about Quark? You know? You're a manipulative little twerp, aren't you? Quark, is he telling the truth? Or were you the one who chose the train? No, I didn't do anything! And see, man, that response is also a little fucking suspicious. But I don't know, man. You're not supposed to know. I didn't have a chance to do anything before Mr. Dio pressed the button! I'm telling the truth! I promise! I can hear so much Chie in his voice. I really like Aaron Fitzgerald. A lot of people have been iffy about her as Chie in Persona 4, but I really like it. I've always liked her voice, honestly. It's very fittingly tomboyish and energetic. Sure, kid. Whatever. The cute and innocent act isn't gonna work. No! I... Alice turned on her heel and stormed off before Clark could reply, leaving him alone with Theo. Man, this is all your fault, Quark. My fault? Why are you blaming me? How could you do that, Mr. Dio? You're a jerk. The moved away sign lead let them stare daggers at one another. It seemed that theirs wasn't the only team facing some friction, however. So everyone had... I just realized... There's no allying this time. I have a feeling that... Wait, is this... I think this was the only one that had no ally that I remember of whatsoever. We are trying to blame you. But, I mean, if you just think about it, wouldn't it make sense to choose Betray? Forget it. I understand now. It was silly of me to trust you guys. The air in the room seemed to turn thick and sour, hanging over us like a brooding, angry cloud. Yeah, if, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the first time no one's chosen the good option. This is where, like, this is the route where everything goes to fuck. I, I'm scared to know what's gonna happen here, because literally everyone but Phi and Sigma died in the in the last ending. But, like, this is starting off more tension-y than the other ones did, I think I remember anyway. It was a grim omen of darker times to come. Oh god, don't say that, because I already thought so, and if, and if you're gonna fucking Zero, say it like the that... Next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get 9 BP? That's impossible without a second round. <laughs> yeah, I guess you got a point. You're right. There will be a second round. When? I don't know. Why not? The voting happens when an AB gate opens. Um, they're already open. Right, you are. So, let me just close up. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round two of the Ambidex game will be the moon round. Moon cards will be required to open the gates. Moon cards? Does that mean we can't use these cards anymore since they've got suns on them? Yes, indeed. Now, you'll have to make cards with moons on them. So, how many times do we play the AB game? I don't know. Uh, It's over when someone gets nine BP. No. As long as that person doesn't open the number nine door, the game goes on. Of course. You could also get stuck just below nine BP, where everybody just keeps going back and forth and back and forth and losing points. After all, if there's nobody with nine BP, the door can't open. Yeah. You'll just have to continue on. 
Hey, can I ask you something? I don't know. Can you? As much as I do love the dialogue, I'm gonna start skipping again until this is over. Yeah? Nope. There aren't any of the people I'm missing in Uh, all that stuff about maybe it's not 100% true. Well, that's not what you told us. Okay. Just use the. What? There's a store that's gonna be chest. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's scanning I think it's interesting because this was never explicitly said in the first game, but it didn't need to be because Ace knew about it. But does that mean that none of these people know about how the game is? So maybe this wasn't like the first game where at least Luna, again, I'm thinking, so was part of another known game experiment. Maybe? But instead, as long as the that there was just other stuff other going on here. Bracelets? It doesn't matter how many people there are! But wait, hold on. Do these things even come off? No. Yes. They do indeed. What's Hey, what? Oh, I, think I think you already know. What? Is that just supposed to mean it's inferable? Or that he would know? Because... Mm, you know what I mean? God damn it. Do you really want to get rid of that bracelet? Of course I do. No, it's easy. Nothing to it, really. You... Die. Here's an exciting fact. <laughs> Your heart creates a bunch of faint electrical just, impulses. The tone was perfect for that. You die. Like, it was perfectly callous. And then, here's an exciting fact. <laughs> Motherfucking. Uh, in fact, like, that's like a perfect microcosm of, like, this you whole fucking series. Is, right? Horrible shit, funny shit. Horrible shit, funny shit. It's literally this whole series. I love it, though. Technically, it's a machine that grabs the electric current. I've heard all that, and I'm a little bit done having fun with his dialogue. Except I really love that line, but oh well. I guess it's not going to be very lucky. Next round. That oh yep was very goofy from Disney. Wait, wait. Ah. Uh, Wait a minute. The, why does he say you're maybe everyone? Why the- that's- that's significant as fuck. What is he getting at when he says that, though? Alas, for sake of your Fido, maybe Mooney, yeah, everyone that's got one BP. Then why the fuck does he say you're maybe everyone? Why? Yeah, why am I going to die? Hmm. I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized. Just like when you break the rules. I'm pretty sure I already told you what the penalty is. <laughs> Correct. I guess Sigma, if any of us are BP, what? What the hell? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Sorry. Okay, I think this Sorry's is the same. Going to cut it. Thought you were some well, but I'm going to skim know. through it just in case I'm like, wait, hold on, what? But see, why did he say everybody? It's not like anybody else knew. Yeah, my color's changed. It's magenta now. Yep, 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 yep. Mine's magenta too. Me too. Hey, wait. It wasn't just the color that changed. I'm a solo now. But now we're with Clover. That's interesting. And now we might be able to see more about, like, what the hell her deal is. I'm a yellow pair now. 
I am yellow as well, but it seems I'm still a pair. Then who's the yellow solo? Me. Still a solo. Looks like I'm cyan. I'm a cyan pair. Aren't you one too? Yeah. Says pear and the color cyan. When did they change? Back when the AV gates closed. As soon as the gates closed, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. The pair and solo assignments hop around a bit too. And of course, no rules or anything. I uh, feel bad that I accidentally skipped. And of course, it's totally random. I love that one. Okay, I it just pisses me off that he's fake sad here, so I'm just gonna skip it. Did you really think I was gonna It is a great performance though. And it and the game adds insult to injury by making the sad music happen. Fuck you. <laughs> just fuck you guys for that. Uh What the you fucking dick? That's my favorite line from Sigma. You could also like just put that in so many situations and it would be the appropriate response in these games. <laughs> Because, yeah, um, this kind of situation brings out the worst in people, and I think that's part of the theming that Ko Uchikoshi has here. I don't know if it's part of his point, but it's certainly a thing that keeps happening. <laughs> you mad? <laughs> I want to forget him for so much of his dialogue. It's so good. You mad? Uh. <laughs> I can't fucking... I may be gone, but I'm always watching. I think, again, like, the, uh, the, mer the merit of this dialogue is, uh, is uh, rather demonstrable by the fact that I've seen this like four times now and like at least three and I think three now. Yeah, I think so. And uh, there's a lot of things that are different and that's interesting to me. Maybe I'll see you again someday. Now, what does that quite mean? Unless it means that he knows that we're looping through this, which I think is obvious. Have a nice tragedy. Piece of shit. If I could just get my hands on that little fucker, I'd squeeze him till he popped. That sounds gross. I don't really want to think about that. Um, so what happens now? We've still got a while until the chromatic doors open. 42 minuto. That is indeed quite a while. We should go and see if we can find any other exits. Maybe there's a vent or a disposal chute or something. If there's a chance Zero missed something. I concur. There's no point in standing around. We lose nothing by looking. And if we find nothing, we can always return and go through the chromatic doors. Let's split up. Five minutes would give us a good half hour or so. Let's meet in front of the chromatic doors five minutes before they open then. Any objections? There were none. After some nods and mumbling, they split up and moved off to investigate. I was the only person who stayed behind. Damn, how the hell did I end up here? Why? Why me? Yeah, okay. This is definitely... I wonder if that's gonna ever come up. Just... I casually had sex with a very important woman. Although I feel like that's not gonna come up, but we'll see. It's just like, I don't know, a detail that he just decided to add there to spice up this dialogue or something. I don't know. Put it across at Sigma's subby, I don't know. <laughs> uh, even though he's less subby than Junpei, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like he's a mix of Dami and subby. Although maybe like I shouldn't be equating everything to sexual things, but like I do that. Yeah, there's this whole thing. I'm pretty sure this has not changed at all. Like, there's nothing going to be different about this. Yeah, her, his girlfriend. I wonder if she's ever going to come up again, either. And it seems like Zero might have sabotaged his car, too.
I really like her boots, by the way. Knee-high boots have always been hot to me. Anyway! Ah! Didn't mean to do that, but I'm pretty sure this is not an actual choice. <laughs> but to the lounge we go. Again, I was still in Skippy Durgan mode. I do that a lot. It's very possible, especially because I'm better and better at changing habits all the time, that I could get to a point where that's not at least as common for me to do, but... In fact, it might be already a little bit less. I don't know. Ah, Sigma. <laughs> Another dude. This place is turning into a real sausage <laughs> fest. What are you telling me for? Oh, yeah, you were one of the first people in here, weren't you? Yeah, so? Well, did you notice anything? No. Although I guess I did notice that the sofa's pretty comfortable. Uh, okay, how about something more useful? I'd say that the comfort level of a sofa is pretty useful. Dio, what's this? <laughs> that? What, you can't tell? It's a dirty magazine. <laughs> oh, come on. It's about astronomy. Can you even read? Can you even see? Just look at those rings on Saturn. Don't they excite you? The fuck, dude? Different strokes, I guess? It appears to be a special dedicated to a lunar eclipse. The cover says the eclipse can be observed on December 31st, 2028. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess it did say something like that. Is he actually aroused by the rings of Saturn? Or like... <laughs> or is that just another thing I can chalk up to a joke? I hope it's the latter. But weird ass fetishes are definitely a thing. Definitely a fucking thing for Uchikoshi. I think he has a lot of weird fucking fetishes and puts them in these games, and that would explain a lot of details about these games. That's six days from now, right? Six days, huh? You mean today is December 25th? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think it is. Depends on how long it was out after they hit me with that gas, I suppose. Hey, Kay. Your team went to the crew quarters, right? Did you find anything? Nothing of interest. You'd better not be hiding something. There really wasn't anything helpful. At least, nothing that could help us escape. There was a book about a cat, though. A cat? What, so now Zero Senior's a crazy cat lady? Just what the hell are we supposed to do with that tidbit? Well, it's more useful than how comfortable the sofa is. Hey, the sofa's comfort level is very <laughs> useful. Um, what? I think you must have misunderstood me. This book isn't for, um, cat ladies. It's about Schrodinger's cat. Uh, I don't really give a shit about the breed. Yeah. Genius. Anyway, I'm a dog person. Yeah. I can't tell. No, it's not an issue of breed. Okay, okay, okay. So it's a story about poor Mr. Schrodinger and his beloved cat, right? It's about the fact that you don't think, you don't use brain, Dio. Don't tell me. The cat dies at the end. Boo fucking who? Fine. Never mind. Oof. Oof, man. It's about a scientific theory which is extremely relevant to this game, but Dio's an asshole. Just as I was about to open my mouth and tell Kay that I cared about what he found even if Dio didn't, Luna and Fi appeared. So the Schrodinger's cat doesn't come up this time, and I think that's important because the scientific theories are always important. Because they always literally inform about the story and what's happening because they're always involved in some sci-fi weirdness. And I have a feeling that as weird as it is, as fucking odd, it is as it is. Sigma's whole weird ass thing about cats is important, even though that doesn't make any sense to me right now as to why. But then why would there be such detail about it? Unless it's really just Uchikoshi wanted to put that there for whatever fucking insane reason this fucking madman might have for that. And there's a lot of things that I feel like can only be explained about these games if you use that logic. Of he's just nuts and put it in there because he felt like it. There you go. <laughs> Hello, Sigma. So this is where you were. Did any of you find anything? Nope. We got squat. Zilch. Zero. Other words for zero. You were looking, though, right? Hey, answer me. Oh, well, I mean, we weren't wasting time. I was just asking them what they found. I mean, well, they did just have a, a lot of conversation about a lot of random shit. So, I mean, they kind of were wasting time a little bit. However, in defense of Sigma, I think his intention was to start with, to actually, like, get a lead going. In case as well. And? Nothing. Useless. Fuck you, Fi. What about you, Sigma? Oi, man, she can be so harsh. 
but I think she's a lot more Sundari than she lets on. You're like, she cares, but she's really good at seeming callous and like she doesn't give a fuck. But I think that's a front or just a personality in, you know, in, but she does care. You were one of the people searching the infirmary, weren't you? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. It'd take too long to explain. Just have a look at this. I took the paper out of my pocket and handed it to Luna. It looks like a piece of newspaper. Yeah, we found it in the infirmary safe. The headline says, Radical 6 infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. What? What is Radical 6? Just read the article. Okay. The Radical 6 virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. The WHO has confirmed. I wonder what the WHO is. Or if we're supposed to know what it is. It might be a Japanese something. Some kind of... Like, the equivalent maybe of the FDA in America? That the death toll is estimated to have passed. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. I didn't... I didn't mean to skip that. It passed 100,000 victims too. I don't remember much about this, so... And also, I think this is a different person reading this, at least, and there might be more context dialogue that might be important in a way, or just, like, at least different dialogue, which I do want to experience in this game regardless of context. The reason for it being there, or lack thereof. The cold silence fell over the room. For several long minutes, no one spoke. It was Kayo finally broke the spell. Is there a chance? I mean, I certainly hope it isn't the case, but... Could it be that this facility is, in fact, one of the quarantine locations that Clipping mentions? Then, you're saying we're all infected with this Radical 6 mm, virus? See, uh, everyone being infected. What if it's one of those viruses, and there are many, that, especially if it was engineered, it could uh, be extremely dormant, and then at certain moments it could make itself known. Although I do wonder why so far Quark and Alice were the only ones that I think have shown symptoms of that. I don't know. It doesn't really fit. I mean, none of us have shown any kind of symptoms, right? Well, I do feel a little strange. I've lost my balance a few times. My body feels kind of weird too now that you mention it. Yeah, I, I think it literally is something to do with like these are not their real bodies, but I still don't know what the fuck that even means. That's probably just because you were asleep for so long. Are you suggesting that our incarceration here has nothing to do with this article? Yeah, it just doesn't add up. The order's backwards. Maybe if we'd been thrown in here after this virus started spreading. But right now it looks like we were abducted before this thing turned into a pandemic. How's that make any kind of sense? Besides... You found that article in the safe, right? That means Zero Senior put it there specifically so we could find it and read it. Why would Zero do something like that? So that we'd think this place is a quarantine facility. So that we'd think what Zero wants us to think. How do you mean? This thing is just a... a prop. Something to set the scene. Zero's trying to freak us out. That article is a fake. You got a point. If it was real, why cut it out? Also, he has a good point as well about the dates. I didn't realize this either, but I guess the dates suggest we were abducted before it started becoming a thing. However, if Radical 6 is part of this for some fucking reason, we're aware that people can predict the future in this series. So, yeah. Just leave a newspaper with the article that's circled in red pen or something. Right? <laughs> that lazy son of a bitch. Probably too much of a pain in the ass to fake a whole paper. What does the other side look like? The other side? Oh, uh, hold on. It's black. Huh. See? There you go. What if it was covered up? But yeah, like, why would it be black? Because black is not what paper is naturally. It was inked up to cover up. What else is there? That seems really suspicious. Would a newspaper just be black on one side? Well, perhaps there was an ad there. An ad? Some sort of full. I bet you money an article like this was front page news. It's too big of a story. And I really don't think of they put full page ads on the back of the front page. Exactly. Even I know that. And I can count the number of times I've read a paper on one hand. 
If Zero Senior really wanted to trick us, why not go all out? Only an idiot would fall for this. It's pathetic. Am I right or what? I suppose you do have a point. He's being smart here. This is literally Dio being smart, which is interesting. Yes, I agree. Besides, I don't remember ever hearing any news about them, any pandemic. If it was really killing hundreds of thousands of people, I'm pretty sure that would have been on the news or something. You're right. We would have heard about it. Hmm. Luna hasn't mentioned that she knows about Radical Six. And what if she was actually involved in making it or something? Which would explain the medical background, which is... Ooh. Alright, let's have a look around, see if we can find anything else. Good idea. I'll be off then. What about you guys? The consensus seemed to be that they intended to remain. Okay, see you all later. With the wave, I made my way to the exit. Where to next? Hey, I chose instead of skipping it accidentally, but well, I wasn't in Skippy Durgan mode there. But I hope to be more careful about Skippy Durgan mode in the future. Sigma, huh? What do you want? Oof, man. I just came up. I just came by to check on up on you. Oh, I thought maybe you were gonna <laughs> kill me. I mean, considering, but well, why would yeah, like why would you just straight up murder someone in this situation? That would just get you. I mean, what if you got caught? You'd have to have a lot of premeditated reasons. But well, a lot of people here do. But I don't think Sigma ends up being one of those. But watch, we'll commit a murder at some point in one of these games. But why would I do that? Because I betrayed you in the last AB game. I'm the reason you and Fire down to one. Yeah, but that's hardly a reason to kill you. Maybe. It was clear that conversation wasn't going anywhere. I shut my mouth and looked around the room. So is it just you here? On this side of the divider, yeah. This side? Quark's over there, having a look around. And there's... <laughs> You're really gonna make yeah, me Yeah, the woman. No, oh, the lady who was murdered, you mean? Yeah, you've been acting kind of weird ever since we found her. What's that? A what? Isn't that normal? We found a dead body. Who the hell doesn't get a little? Well, out? thing is, is that you're way more than a little. Uh, what ain't normal is all of you just running around like nothing happened. Hell, some of you probably don't even remember she's in here. That's just because we've got a lot of other stuff to think about. Do you blame them for being a little single-minded? They're trying to escape from a game that's just made it clear that it has no problems killing them. Oh, just trying to survive, huh? Yeah. Hey, don't you think we ought to figure out who killed her first? What does that have to do with anything? You don't think much, do you? No, that's Dio, but honestly... Eh, Sigma... Sigma thinks quite a bit, but... He does end up missing a lot of details, and also that's relatable. <laughs> that's me. I'll bet you a pound of Neo Daimyo, the bastard who grabbed us, is the same bastard who killed her. What the fuck is Neo Daimyo? Who else could it be? I'm gonna look that up. What the fuck's Neo Daimyo? Is that real? Time for the interwebs. Okay, well, after reading a Wikipedia article, part of a Wikipedia article that mostly went over my head, like all high science-y stuff does, I learned that Neo Daimyo is a metal that is mostly man-made, although it does occur naturally mixed with stuff, but never on its own. So it's basically something that has to be man-made. And it's used in magnets that tend to be used in electronics and stuff. A lot of times headphones and computers and things like that. But I have no idea that none of that told me why the fuck he randomly decided he'd bet a pound of neodymium specifically. Like what? <laughs> I feel like that, like, I wonder if that's significant to Temioji's character in any way, and why the fuck it would be. Maybe that's a hint as to if he's, like, involved in some high science-y projects, which definitely took place here, so maybe that's supposed to be that, but I really think it might just be Uchikoshi's obvious extreme interest in these complex scientific discoveries and theories and everything like that. 
just bleeding through. Instead of, you know, the normal, using the normal phrase or anything close to it. I do like the creativity of it, honestly. But, like, it's just funny to me that instead of just saying, I'll bet you money, right? He specifically is like, I'm going to say, I'll, I'm going to write it as, I'll bet you a pound of neodymium. Who the fuck says that? <laughs> anyway. Uh, but yeah, Uchikoshi's weird. We all know this. Moving on. I love him for that, though. Being normal is boring anyway. In fact, hell, I'm weird and I embrace my weird, damn it. So, more power to him for being weird. For a living. That is really what Uchikoshi does, in a way. He makes weird shit for a living. And I love it. If Zero is one of us, then you're saying one of us murdered the old lady? You saw it too, right? The person in the gas mask? Yeah. Did you notice anything? Not really. The gas made pretty short work of me. Me and Quark. What? You and Quark were grabbed together? Yeah. Yeah, we were. Is he your grandson? So what if he is? Why do you want to know? That doesn't have anything to do with what's going on here. But what if it does? Maybe it'll shed some light on something else. I'm pretty sure it won't. Why is that? Quark's got nothing to do with this. So it's got no has it got something to do with you then? Gosh. What is it, goddammit? What do you want? Why don't you just leave me alone? Because you fucking betrayed me, douchebag. Because you're suspicious. Wait, what? There's nothing suspicious about me. Alright, tell me this then. When and where did Zero Senior abduct you? Well, forgive me if I don't feel like spilling my guts to a guy who probably hates him right now. Alright, fine. I'll just ask Quark. Quark! Hey, stop it! Quark! Don't tell him a damn thing! Well, you're getting more suspicious by the... Uh, what's gonna happen here? I would started... This is... Spooky. This is gonna be some oof-ass shit. Also, we haven't heard a peep out of Quark, and that's... Hmm. I found him as, as I rounded the divider, but... Okay. Radical Six, I guess. He was just standing there, a blank, slightly confused look on his face. Hey, Quark? You alright? Can you hear me? Huh? What? Is something happening? I turned to look at Tamioji. He looked back, confused. Weren't you listening to our conversation? Y yeah you were just talking so fast. Wait. I couldn't really understand. Why the fucking... Oh. This happened to us. Is that Radical 6? Is that what it is? The speedy... No. Radical 6 is when people get fucking suicidal. But no, this is what happened to us. What does that mean? This is what happened to us, but it happens to us much later. Where everything goes by really fast for some reason. Like your brain slowed down, is what he described it as. Though I don't understand why that would make everything seem fast, honestly. But yeah, that must be what happens to him here. Fast? My head felt kind of foggy, and I couldn't really make out what you were saying. <sighs> I'm fine now, though. Whatever it was seems to be gone. Are you sure you're okay? I think I'm just being stuck in this place is pretty exhausting. And, and... And? He glanced at the bed in the back of the room? Oh yeah. On it lay the body of the old woman. What? Tamioji, the hell were you thinking? You can't let Quark back here. Huh? Oh yeah, right. Quark, get over here. Uh, anyway. Are you sure you're okay now? Yeah. Maybe Luna should have a look at you. Supposedly, she's some sort of doctor. I said I was fine. Gosh, Grandpa, you're such a worrier. You always freak out over nothing. I'm fine. Well, it looks to me like you're doing fine. I guess we won't have anything to worry about. Yeah, no, that's... That's not true, especially because... What's... What happens when he gets suicidal? Because that's not happening here, it looks like. But I think it has something to do with the timey wimey thing. Let's get back to work. I'm guessing you didn't find a secret passage somewhere, huh? Nope. I see. Yeah. I'll go check up on the others then. Tamioji? Keep an eye on him, Ryan. What, you think I need you to yeah, tell me that? Yeah, fair enough. I mean, obviously he's gonna do that regardless. I grinned and turned towards the exit. Where to go next? Yeah, that's... 
Hmm. Again, I was expecting this. There's a lot of interesting context and clues about things here. I was excited to see those. Oh, Sigma. Well, have you found anything? No. What about you? Nothing. I looked through three or four of the rooms in here. No secret passages so far. I don't think we're gonna find any. Do you really think Zero Senior is that stupid? You're probably right. A secret passageway would be a pretty serious oversight. I have a lot of choice adjectives for Zero, but I admit stupid isn't one of them. Right? Hey, there's something I've been wondering about. What? Uh, so. Looks like there's a deal with the two of you. They're not gonna say. I kind of wonder why Sigma keeps asking at this point. Both in character, like, why would they talk about that to someone in this situation that they don't know? Because they obviously only trust each other, right? Especially because someone got killed, too, in here, you know what I mean? In this case, and one of the other first groups. But also... Out of character, Uchikoshi wouldn't reveal that so far. She hasn't yet. It'll be another one of the things that'll make sense in the true ending, surely. What do you mean? Well, you obviously know each other pretty well. Yeah, we do. We're half sisters. Wait, what? Wait a minute, what? I think that's a lie. Any chance you'd buy that one? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Then what do you think we are? I didn't feel like playing games. What's headquarters supposed to mean? Yeah, because he overheard that. What? I heard you two talking in the infirmary. You said something about getting in touch with headquarters. Alice, what should we do? Alice laid her hands on her hips and sighed. Clover and I are... co-workers. Okay, where do you co work? Why would they say that when they're trying to be all secretive about it? We can't tell you that. Why not? Is it some sort of secret government project that you can't talk you about? You can it? tell yourself that if it makes you feel better. <laughs> Does it have something to do with Zero? Well, why would you think that? Because you seem to know more about Zero than you're letting on, Clover. The way you were talking in the infirmary, there's even a Zero. She sure sounds like you've heard of Zero before to me. And Alice, from what you two are saying, I bet you know something about Zero, too. Come on, you can't hide it forever. Just tell me what's going on here. Well, this isn't the first time something like this has happened. Clover. It's okay. I think we can tell him a little. What do you mean this isn't the first time? About a year ago, nine people were kidnapped and forced to play a game. And I killed someone during it, and it was fun. What? The rules were different, but it was called the Nonary Game, too. Oh, wait. I guess only seven of them were really kidnapped. I mean, two of them were actually the ones behind it. No, I guess if I count the other two, then there were nine. Anyway, the people behind that Nonary Game also called themselves Zero. Well, hold on there, Clover. Can you give me more details? Besides, how do you even know about this in the first place? Because I was part of it. I was one of the people who got kidnapped. What? You mean this is your second notary game? No. The third, actually. It's my third. Third? The same thing happened ten years ago. Wait, wait, wait. What are you? Then that means you have you have to have something to do with this. I, I guess you could say that. What do you mean you guess? How could you not? Whoever keeps doing these notary games must have decided they wanted you to play a third one. No, I... I don't think so. 
Why not? Because the game was run by a different person both times, and the guy behind the first nonary game has already been arrested. Okay, so he is in jail. Thank fuck. Uh, at least I'd hope. What about the second one? You said there were two people for that one. They... they're still on the run, but... Wait, what? Wait, 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 so... wait a fucking... This is a lot more than I thought I'd be getting before the fucking true ending of this game. So June and Santa are... They fucked off and started running? I mean, I suppose it makes sense. They did kind of sort of murder two people and put a lot of others through. Possible death. And actual death in different timelines, I guess. A lot of horrific actual death and a lot of horrific stress anyway. She's alive and out there somewhere. No, I really don't think so. Because they already did what they were trying to do. There's no way they'd have another nonary game. Uh, okay, well, that makes no sense. So let me see if I have this straight. The nonary game has already been done twice, but by different people and for different reasons. Yes. Well, I can't be totally sure, but I think so. Then why is whoever's doing this calling it the nonary game? Is it just a coincidence they're calling themselves Zero? I don't know. It's not good enough. You've got to think. Clover, you're the, you're the key to figuring all this out, but you've got to think. But I... I don't know. Oh, the gas mask. Yeah, it's the same ass fucking gas mask from the first game. Yeah, I saw it too. But what about it? Well, somebody in a gas mask showed up and used that white smoke stuff on me. That's what happened a year ago. And that's what happened on the 22nd. Someone with a gas mask attacked Alice and me while we were- Having sex, because we're gay, no one. Whoa! Then it's gotta be the same person- But I don't know why they do Well, they were what? What were they doing? Were they having sex because they're gay? I I'm sorry that I jumped to that, but I love me some Yuri and some Yaoi. And I am aware that my Yuri obsession borders on a fetish, and I- I'm not the proudest of that, but it kind of does. <laughs> did what they needed to do. And if it was them, then I don't know why all these other people are here. Except for me and Alice. None of you guys have anything to do with what happened a year ago, right? Yeah, well, I mean, I know I, I know I didn't have any- You sure you've never met any of the other people here? Yeah, I'm sure. I know I've never met Luna, or Dio, or Tenmyoji, or Quark. Or by, but K. I think I'm right then. Right. There's no way to know who he is under that armor. And if his memory loss is real, he wouldn't know even if he had met any of us. Unless mm. we can get that mask off him. I can't say for sure if I've met him before or not. And we can get that mask off him, but not going down this route, unless this route can get us into that room, the Golem Bay, but not sure. Then, before one of us could break the silence. Article 6, murder, what? What is it this time? One of those, probably. <sighs> Temioji? What's wrong? Luna. Luna? Did she get killed? Where's Luna? Oh. Interesting. She's not here. What's wrong? It's Quark. Something bad's happened. Oh! Okay, no no wonder, because... You know. Okay, it is Radical Six, then. But I think that means all of us do have it, unless... Unless Radical Six ain't... Hmm. Hey, calm down. What happened to Quark? I don't... He just collapsed. Whoa. I have to find Luna. She said she was some kind of a doctor, right? Luna's over in the lounge. Where's Quark? He's in the infirmary. Got it. I'll go get Luna. You head back to the infirmary. Clover, Alistair with me. Okay. Right. We bolted out of the crew quarters and headed toward the lounge and Luna. I don't know if we should trust her, though. But, you know. She said they're still on the run, but that doesn't really rule out that somehow they rapidly aged and are here as Temnaoji and the old lady that died. Meaning, Santa and June. For some fucking weird-ass, timey-wimey-ass fucking reason. 
The whole process took only a few minutes. Okay, so we did find her. And this is the same as before. And she's now gonna be suspicious because she knows about Radical Six. The machine scanned Quark's body, and within seconds his results lit up the screen. Words too complicated for me to understand scrolled across it, and as she read them, Luna's face grew dark. She bit her lip and just stood there for a moment, looking down at Quark before she spoke. Well, I... I know what's wrong with her. I feel so terrible saying this, but... Quark is... Quark has an... an infection. A viral infection. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, he's been infected with a virus called Radical Six. I wonder what would happen if we all scanned everyone else. Do we really all have it? And if so, how does it manifest itself? And if it is it really just s some of them? And if so, like, why? And like, how do they... Because they go from normal to whatever the timey-wimey shit is. Like, does it make your brain slow down, or is it something other than that? That seems to be part of it, and then there's the whole, I'm going to murder myself, or just be very unhinged kind of a thing. Have you heard of this virus? Radical Six, I mean. Yeah, they have. I told them about it before we went to the lounge. What? What? No. No, that can't be right. Quark can't be... There must be something we can do. How can we cure him? Well, the Atom says that there's an antiviral serum called Excelivir. It's the only way to counteract Radical Six. If we can inject him with some, he should... He should be okay. Where is it? Was there none in the infirmary? Sigma, Tenmyoji, and I looked everywhere. We didn't find anything. We didn't find anything like that in the crew quarters either. No luck in the lounge. Oh god. And he's... He's going to... Oh god, no. Oof, man. Tamioji's voice broke as he spoke, and also his mouth did weird things, but that's what these models always do. But anyway, like, that was particularly weird. It was like it wasn't really mouthing the words. His mouth was just opening very wide, and I feel like not for all the words, but oh well. <laughs> With a tortured sigh, he collapsed to his knees. Quark? And... Quark! I wouldn't get so happy, buddy. Cause, uh, oh, thank God. He's about to make you more worried than you've ever been, unfortunately. You're awake! Get away from me! What? Yeah. Quark, what are you- Sorry, Grandpa. I can't. I- I have to- Have to what? What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? I have to escape. But how? Like this! Christ, man. You know what? I'm not gonna read this, because we've read this before, and also, oof, dude. We know what happens here. I'm not gonna read no! it again. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. Right. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Me too. Stop. Let's go! This whole scene is a little bit too oof for me right now. So, uh, Damn no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fucking no. Nobody do da day. I got it. Nobody dopity. Fopity cropity copity. Luna. Copium. Yeah. Are there I'm, any? No. I am consuming what? so much copium right now. The one that's Get it good. in Hit my it whole that. body. Whoa. You'll be fine. It's just an. You won't hurt. But just hurry. Come on, Luna. Okay. I'm huffing just... all of the copium that exists in the universe currently, and that's what I do. Well, see, the reason I can play these games and not just quit them okay. is because I'm constantly huffing copium. Anyway. Good. Wait until he's... Now! Right. No! Stop! Stop! <laughs> Too much oof. I can't handle it. <sighs> Don't get horny because of breathing sounds, Dur. Jesus. Sorry. Respiration, blood pressure, brainwaves. According to these readings, he's in a very deep sleep. Brainwaves, everything's normal. Oh. I hate accidentally skipping dialogue. Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're good for now. Yes. What about the anesthetic? How long will it last? He shouldn't wake up for a few hours. Man, he sure was strong for such a little guy. 
think that might be the virus's fault. It probably attacks the part of the brain that governs reason. Without anything to hold it back, his body was using every ounce of strength it had. Yeah? Uh, you know. Huh? Oh, um, well... How much do you know about this Radical Six? Oh, not much. I don't think that's Probably right. I know about as much as you do. I have this filio that, uh, yeah, she might have been involved in creating it for some reason. All I've seen about it is that newspaper article Sigma showed me. You'd better not be lying. Why would I lie about that? I've seen other viruses that do the same thing. I, I was just making a guess. So when Quark tried to kill himself, are you saying that was because of Radical Six too? Yes, at least I think so. <laughs> so what kind of virus is Radical Six? I pulled the newspaper article out of my pocket and looked at it again. Everyone else crowded in. Look at this last line. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Are you saying this is some kind of quarantine zone? I already explained this. That's not possible. Why not? Dio ran through what he told the rest of us in the lounge. Then, you're saying the newspaper article was faked? But the virus is clearly real. That Adam machine told us he was infected with Radical 6. So? Do you know how that thing works? I bet there's a thousand ways to hack it. Zero Senior probably just programmed it so that it would spit out whatever he wanted. Besides, there was something Sigma mentioned. Have any of you guys heard anything about any sort of viral pandemic? Well, no, but... Well, I mean, well, yes, but, uh, it's kind of funny. God, playing this game in 2022 it just hits more and more different the more that we go into the Radical Six thing in particular. Yeah. And this seems to be more about it than the other routes, so that's gonna be fun. I have heard rumors about a virus being used as a bio. Huh. What? I don't think she mentioned that before. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alice, what the hell? Explain. By the way, I really love that pose. Yes, Aaron. As much as I would love to. I'm sorry. Time's up. Time? Hit the buttons on your bracelet. Shit. Five minutes. Then we only have five minutes until the chromatic doors open downstairs. Exactly. I'm sorry, but I'd really need more than five minutes to explain this. That's a convenient excuse. As if you tell us even if there was time, right? Or would I? Who knows? Fine. We'll deal with this later. Right now, we need to get to the elevator and head down to floor B. What are we going to do about Quark? I'll carry him. Are you sure? I can't just leave the boy here. Besides, if we don't have Quark's bracelet, there'll be one team who can't open their secondary door. If that happens... They'll get penalized. Exactly. Very well, then. I will carry Quark. I will be able to move much faster than Ten Yoji. Animating K must be really easy, because he just has to sit, stand there and breathe. You can't animate his mouth. I just realized that. Huh. You make a good point. Look, are you sure about this? Can I trust you? You have nothing to worry about. Because he just has poses. Fine. Just be careful. Of course. All right, let's go. We're running out of time, people. Move! At Fi's command, we all begin to run. The door opened and we spilled out into the warehouse. The options Phi laid out for us were the following. Option A. Clover and I, Magenta, pair up with Tamiyoji, Cyan, to go through the blue door. 
Luna and Phi, Cyan, pair up with Eo, yellow, to go through the green door. K and Alice, yellow, pair up with Quark, magenta, to go through the wet door. Option B. Clover and I, magenta, pair up with Eo, yellow, to go through the red door. Luna and Phi, Cyan, pair up with Quark, magenta, to go through the blue door. K and Alice, yellow, pair up with Temiochi, Cyan, to go through the green door. Option C. Clover and I, magenta, pair up with Quark, magenta, to go through the green door. Luna and Phi, Cyan, pair up with Temioji, Cyan, to go through the red door. K and Alice, yellow, pair up with Dio, yellow, to go through the blue door. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. So, how do we want to pair up? I think the people who have the greatest disadvantage should get to choose. What do you mean? The people who have one BP. So you, Phi, Luna, and Sigma? Yes, exactly. All right, then. Who do you want to go with, Alice? That's a lot of people who are... Anyone but Dio. <laughs> I'd rather die than get paired up with that prick. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'll... That, that's... Considering the way that he acts in general, I don't think anyone here likes him. Oof. I do kind of feel bad for him for that, but, like... Kind of brings it on himself, I feel like, so... Just anyone but him. <laughs> Damn. That's a lot of hate. What did you expect? You betrayed me. Hey, I told you already. That was Quark. I don't believe you. What? You're telling me you trust him more than me? Anybody other than Dio could mean Quark, you know. You willing to pair up with him? He's asleep. I don't really think I need to worry about him alone. I glanced over at Quark. He looked tiny, cradled in Kay's arms, fast asleep. If I didn't know better, I'd think he was just a kid who tired himself out from playing too hard. Yeah, that would be a lot better than the old... Yeah, that would be a lot nicer than reality, if that was reality. But unfortunately, it is not in this case. Although, thankfully, this game isn't actually reality. God, that would suck if this game was reality. Uh, what? Alright, bye. Who do you want to go with? Anyone other than Ten Miyoji is fine. My reasoning is the same as Alice's. He betrayed me last time. Yeah, I guess that's fair. If we want to honor Alice and Phi's requests, then we can go with any option besides C. So, A or B? Oh, uh, hold on. You've got two other people with one BP. How about you, Luna? I... I don't really have a preference. Clover and Kay did betray me last time, but... They're both pairs now, though. <laughs> And since you're a pair too, there's no way you'd end up going through the same door as them. Yeah. All right then, Sigma. What about you? Um, I let's see. Clover and I were a pair. That meant that I had to choose one of the three solos. Ah, oh, shit! I didn't mean to do that, but I guess we're going with it. A double ten Mayoji. Or are we actually gonna get anything out of him this way? I'm kind of interested in that. That was a big whoopsie, but hey, I guess we'll do it. I keep mashing today, what the fuck? I'm usually not as bad at that, at least these days. Oh well. Me? But I picked Betray last time. Exactly. So I'll just make you pick Ally this time. Well, I guess I should say you, you wouldn't have you won't have a choice. Is that so? Mind telling me how you'll do that? <laughs> I'd love to, but really but we don't really have time. Ask me again, again later, okay? Fine. You're on. So we're doing option A. That means Luna, Dio, and I will go through the green door. Which leaves the red door for Quark, K, and me. Any objections? Good. Let's go. Listen, uh, take care of Quark, all right? Aww. You needn't worry. I'll watch out for him. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. I wonder why they're just trusting K to carry Quark when... Oh wait, hold on, it's because of the pairs and stuff, right? Hurry up, guys. The door's closing. Right. I'm going, I'm going. With only seconds to spare, we dash through the blue door. Two, one, zero. Chromatic. Door. And also, Close. we might learn about why he's so adamant about having Clover trust him here. Or at least looking out for Clover. I hope we understand that. So there's a lot of things we could learn here. I just hope we learn any of them. Clover already told us stuff, so that's... 
So that's something comforting to me in this game, where information is certainly a commodity, let's say. Three doors. Which one should we take? That seems like kind of a silly question. I mean, they're all locked, aren't they? How can we go through any of them if they're locked? Well, this thing here's got a lever on it. Maybe that does something. Why don't you pull it and find out? Right. Oh, hey, they're, they're making someone besides Sigma do that. Thank God. They broke the fucking cycle. There isn't even any kind of hullabaloo about it. Oh, hey, looks like one of them opened. But only one. Why's that? They're probably telling us we should go that way. Might as well, then. So this is the exit, huh? Nothing. Lock tight. Won't even budge. So what the hell is this place? The door said P-E-C. Guessing it's not for working out, though. Mm -hmm. Heck. <laughs> it took me a second to get, but that's funny. It looks like it's probably an acronym or abbreviation or something, but for what? Prepared emergency chocolate? Ooh, delicious. Private ecclesiastical commode. <laughs> He's gonna say something about erotic something, because there's an E in there. Oh, wait a sec. There's a manual here. I think it explains what this room is for. What's it say? Hold on. This facility is pressurized, maintaining much higher air pressure than the surrounding environment. Airborne viral contagion. Oh my god. Well, what? Quiet. Keep reading, Clover. Oh, right. Airborne viral contagions have necessitated this step, which is intended to prevent contamination of the installation. All persons wishing to exit the facility must do so through this pressure exchange chamber. Whoa. Once the chamber has been sealed, the pressure can be lowered to match the surrounding environment. Before the PEC can be depressurized, all occupants must be wearing level A hazmat suits to prevent infection. The PEC will not function unless all occupants are wearing appropriate protective equipment. Okay, so this really is about the, the, the virus more than the other route. That's fun. Although, yeah, we never got any, like, information about it, really. Um, but what does this mean? Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? Are they trying to say the air out there's full of some horrible virus? I don't think it's just any virus. It has to be Radical 6. Oh man. Then that newspaper article was true. Several long moments of silence crawled past. Three of us just stared at one another, our minds working to make sense of this new information. Eventually, Clover shuffled to one of the lockers and opened it. Is this one of those hazmat suits the manual was talking about? Yeah, I figure they are. We won't be able to get into the pressure exchange thing unless we've got those on, then. And getting that room to decompress is the only way we'll get outside. So where is the actual decompression room? Have a look. See that lift over there? Oh, yeah. This room's divided into two floors, upper and lower. We're on the lower floor right now. Earlier, we were on the upper one. So is this room actually... Is actual pressure exchange so is this room actually divided like most of the rooms in 999 were? Or are we just going to be exploring this one? I guess we'll see. Ah, no good. This one's locked too. Won't open, huh? Nope. Okay, it's probably pointless, but humor me on this. Let's go put on those suits, come back here, and try the door again. 
Maybe just maybe well, we can get out. It does seem like that's how this thing is supposed to work, but do you really think it'll be that easy? It's hard to believe Zero Senior would make that big of a mistake. Well, let's have a look around anyway. Maybe we'll find something about that virus. Yeah, good idea. What are we standing around for then? Get to it. Okay, it, it does, well, we'll say, I suppose. Can we go up the elevator? Can we? Do we? Everybody on? Yeah. Do. Okay, here we go. We. Okay, like, I'm not gonna explore this room in this episode, I just wanna see. Okay, yeah, so both rooms have stuff, probably. No good. One open. It's locked? Looks like it, but I don't see a keyhole. There's no keyhole. I don't think we can open it. Okay, you're right. Guess we might as well leave these lockers, suckers alone. Now. Okay, I just I just wanted to see. So this is a double room here. I can already kind of see that they're both smaller than a normal room would be. So the design is, philosophy is still about the same. The rooms are about the same size, generally. This one's just divided into two. It really doesn't look like that. So I'm interested. And I guess I'll start at the top floor because that's the first part of the room. Although I have a feeling that the first part of the room as far as the gameplay design is going to be concerned is going to be the one, you know, we actually started in. Uh, maybe they intend you to explore that first. Okay, that's what, that's what the safe is. But I'm going to start here because it's where we actually entered the place. Just because Shruggy Durgan? Either way, friends, I will see y'all next time, Marino. And like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to. That'd be very helpful for me. And keep doing what you love. Keep loving yourselves and other peeps, friends. And I will see y'all in the next one. Hell yeah!